Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to whatever this is. Um, the not so regular vlog mail thing. Um, I'm back at a site up the road, maybe about 30 minutes from us, um, that I was here last year. And I didn't really, I wasn't filming last year when I was doing it. Um, but we got, it was a little frosty the first day and the second day uh, we got like five or six inches of snow <laughs> in between when I showed up and it was like uh, dust in the rest of the day. Um, but, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm back here again, uh, cutting the rest of his logs. Um, that's kind of what we got left and you can kind of see some of the stack over here, what we've cut, um, you know, some two by six, uh, two by four, two by eights out of poplar, and then uh, just some one by out of oak and, and hickory. And I think he's got some beams and stuff here. Last time we were cutting a lot of like four by eights and four by twelves uh, out of poplar, I believe. And we had some big slabs. He had some larger red oaks that we were cutting. Um, so we're being more productive today. And he had, we had most of the bigger stuff done then anyway. Uh, so this is just kind of finishing it out. Um, but what was kind of unique about this site is the uh, location or, or the tight space. He's only got about 60 feet between that wall and it's kind of hard to see, but where it drops off. And last time I was here, I spent probably 30 minutes trying to like turn the turn the sawmill around, and I couldn't. And he had a he had a track hoe, but the guy who ran it didn't uh, wasn't here at the time. But today. Um, he was here. He was here first thing in the morning, and um, so I didn't even try. We just disconnected the mill, and as you can see, we can take the track hoe and scoot it around. It was a little um, more sketchy than I remember, um, but it seemed to go all right. I was keeping an eye on it. I had the uh, the wheel chocks. I had the other guy uh, with with another wheel chalk, just kind of ready to throw it on a wheel if it started to get a, get a hand of it. Um, but uh, you know, it's just kind of kind of nature of it. Um, I've been looking into trailer mover things. I'm not sure how practical they would be uh, where I would need them. You know, everywhere I work that I would need it is some flavor of muddy, gravelly, slopey, um, tight spaces. So I don't know that I would like trust myself that well uh, with the weight of the mill. You know, if it starts walking down the hill, I can't really do anything from there. Um, but that's something, if any of y'all have any experience with those trailer mover things, I'm curious to see or, or uh, you know, to hear if, if any of y'all have any experience with that stuff, whether it's a sawmill or, or, or not. At any rate, uh, so it's going well, and thanks for watching, and uh, catch you next time. Thanks.